mama amekwisha kupumzika mtumishi wa Mungu nikasema wacha nami niweze kwa sababu tuli walitutangulisa kazi so kwa hivyo nataka niseme watoto wa mama tutakuwa na nyinyi nimesema ya kwamba poleni sana Mungu wa amani aweze kuwafariki na aweze kuwalinda asanteni sana thank you so much Kuru. this is it has marked a very good beginning Wherever you will be today, you will succeed. Amen. To those young ones, I have worked with Pastor Mokaya and the Mama Wilkista. I have gone to school with their children, some were my classmates, like Daniel. During the week, I was a student. The weekends, I was a pastor. <laughs> so I encouraged Kina Daniel, Kina Charis to, to make it through. They were not in class, but I, I, I sat on them and we, we made it. All passed to home five. That marked a difference in Kamagambo. Never tell us sita kuwa na mengi. Niki kumbuka, last till when I interrogated with Mokaya's family, it was during Charles' wedding. That was at Nyanchua, where we had a crisis, but we took a stand and we made it. Right? Yes. I have prepared you a small paper. You will be reading it because I will not be with you. Inatoka kuna mujungachi ambawa mepotesa mama hapo nyangena diko narekea tumupereke huko ibenjo. Kwa hivo hapa ni meandika kidogo tu my lesson is a is on mother's position in the family. Who is a mother in a family setting? Mother, wasungu wanasema, M is a motivator, a mediator, and a mindful of everybody. Even if you are daddy, it becomes so harsh because you are, you are on the wrong. Your mother consoles you despite how wrong you are. So, mother O is an hostess of peace. And a very optimistic person. Mother T is a talented person, tolerant. Despite what you, you do, she tolerates. Despite what the husband becomes, mother and a familiar. Kwa hivo, sita enderea sana. Mama ni wirikista. W, she was a well-wisher. I, she was impressive to the family. That's what, that's the reason why the family looks as it looks. K, she was keen and kind-hearted. I, she was ideological. Yeah, you have some son. Lakini, Esther, remember how she disciplined you all as her children and shaped you to be what you are. So, as she was sincere and supportive. Look at the, the neighborings she supported. I remember one, one lecturer from your place taught me at Kisi University, used to talk about Mrs. Mokaya. Eh? So, 
She was tolerant, thoughtful, efficient listener. And Ari, she was responsible and a model role. A role model. So, Nyakobo oke, iyo neno, obo oke, munajua, means ani. Obo oke ni, ni asari. Alikuwa mama wa asari. I have tried to, to explain what the name means and what every letter stands for. Reason why you are all sweet in the, in the family. Sitani kama kuna yoyota mbae, yuko anaitwe kebago katika family ya mkani. No, no, nobody. Even the grandees. So, lastly, I want to turn to the verse in Psalms 27, verses 4. Psalms 27, verses 4. Stand under your siblings. Choose one thing. One thing. To live and stay and serve in the house of the Lord. All the days of your life. As you have been. Continue with the faith of your parents. As you have been. This don't sideline the fate of your parents because they are not there. Continue. That's the legacy they have lived to you. Since 2015, when you say part of the company, she has been with you very successfully. She has rested. Let us have such conference, confidence that one day we are going to meet her in that kingdom. Amen. Will you be there? Or you will flee away because you stand unfaithful. Be faithful to meet them in the kingdom. Thank you. And I will Bayetu ulia mbinguni Kwa sababu mama alikuwa mama Wa Kenya Mama wagusi Mama muifadhi imani Ya wadventista katika Semu zetu hapa usi Tunashukuru kwa sababu Uliruhusu apu musike wakati kama huu Haku, haku kufa Akiwa na asara Hamepumusika maana hamefanya kazi Hamekusa watoto familia Ambayo itaendeleza Matakwa na mienendo yao Wakiwa wanapumusika Tunamuombea Kichana mkubwa Ndugu Stanel Akisaidiwa na ndugu Samuel Wasaidiane Wakumbuke kuna Leonard eh, kijana wa mwisho ambaye pia wanaitaji wawe na ushirika naye ili kwamba ukitaka uongozi wa aina yeyote wa namna yeyote ujue kwamba mama pamoja na mzee Mukaya wamechenga familia ambayo inaweza kuongoza katika inji yetu. Wanapatoka sasa kuerekea nyumbani. Kanisa lina watu bili. Wawe na mwenendo mzuri, waongoze salama kwa utaratifu, wafike salama salimeni. Tutasiti kuonana.
Asante kwa kanisa hili ambao limechengwa hapa limetuhifadhi. Limetupatia nafasi ya kupumzika kidogo na kutoa neno fupi. Tunaomba tukishukuru kwani tumeomba katika jina la Yesu aliyemwombezi wetu. Amen. Amen.
reading for you today comes from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 7 and 8. And it says, um, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. And the crown of righteousness will be given to me by my Lord, the righteous judge, on that day. And not only to me, but to all those who have loved his appearing. Amen. The second scripture reading comes from First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13 to 16. And it says, But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, considering them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them who also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. Verse 15, For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that ye which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Verse 16, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise fast. Amen. God bless you. Thank you. We have met here this evening so that we can pray together with the family of the late great pastor Jackson Mokaya who served us, most of us, when we were very young. I was privileged to be served by Pastor Jackson when I was just a very small boy. He was our station director, very powerful, at Kebrigo Station, and they came to our camp meetings. Those days when camp meetings were very large with large congregations, and he was uh, a man that you can emulate. I never knew that one day I will serve his family. I never knew that one day I will serve his family. And during this time that uh, Mama Wilkista has rested. I have read through this program and the booklet. You have done excellently well to capture the life and deeds of Mama Wilkista. This is a great mother. And uh, we can't say more. We may not say more, but you have expressed yourself explicitly well. I was saying that mothers when they get old, they are so sweet. You you will love to be associated and be very close to them. But naturally, mothers kurende abangina. They have a strong bond with children and even community. I don't know, I don't know why, but I want to say that mothers are more attached to children than fathers. And their fingerprints are permanent in the hearts of the children. 
Donye nekoro kuri yera dia ugo kuna kuabo ugo koro boti kare tebe tambe asaba na ramu. And that is why those who have mothers. Nakia kora wali mubate aba nyoko. Treat them nice because one day they will depart as we request us. The baile buya ekiari tu keri mo kuruvaro una we request a ruvaro. Mothers are remembered. Aba nyinangko inyo ruvare mono. Maybe it's because of the milk. That they give their children, and then I sing to them a very backward Havana Bible. But mothers are good. Even what they cook will remind you one day that your mother is not there. No, I mean, Kiba Koruga Giok, Nagara Koruga, Koyurina, Mana Borit. I remember my mother rested some 13 years ago. But I still remember the saw milk she was preparing for us. I have never gotten that milk anywhere. That milk was special. So mothers are totally different. And that is why I've, I've chosen the book of Acts chapter 9. Acts chapter 9 verse 36 to verse 42. Korakianda meronge tato na isa ano nemo oika meronge ne na bibiri. There there is a story of one woman. Iga iga umoga na nora umu kungwa ya umo. One woman by the name Dorcas or Tabita. Mukungwa ya umo Dorica was Tabita. This was a woman. Oyo na mukungwa ringi. The Bible says. The Bible says in verse 36, let me, let me, let me check there. In verse 36, there lived a woman named Tabitha. There lived a woman named Tabitha. The same phrase is in the book of Job chapter 1. Job chapter 1. The book of Job. There lived a man. There were several women in Chopa. There lived one woman. You can never be exceptional until your deeds are exceptional. There lived one woman in Chopa. And her name was Tabita. She treated widows very well and with compassionate. She treated well the widows. You know, in the book of in the book of Acts, I say there are several things that are spoken there. I want to tell you that this one woman, that the one woman, this one woman, that the 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 one woman, that they never executed the deeds. 
You can have the heart of doing good. But if you don't execute the deeds, then those good deeds cannot be seen. By this woman doing good deeds to the widows, she touched the hearts of many widows. We are given life. So that we can touch others. God has left us alive. So that we can impact society. So, so that we can transform others. So that we can help those who are in need. So that we can make a difference. Tabitha was one woman of such a type. The Bible says one day she was sick. And eventually she died. Eventually she died. These widows that was helping, they were informed that Tabitha has died. And so, and so, just like we have congregated here, because we have been informed that Wilkista has rested. They also congregated. And they were crying bitterly. Because of the good service she did to them. And they prepared the body. And then they laid the body in the upper room. And then they sent some to Peter. When Peter came, he told the The women were wailing. They were displaying the tunics, the sweaters that Tapita donated to them. They were displaying them to Peter. They were saying, this disciple helped us. And they were, they just died. Who will help us? Who will help us? I mean, I know that. It's okay. Indicate the signature which is on KCC 768Z. Konya ngebe trite kende sus nikurwa. KCC. 768Z to indicate that she came young. So the Bible says that Peter knelt in the upper room where the body was laid. And they prayed to God, asked him to raise Tabitha. And the Tabitha 
was raised. But Tabitha Akaboka, because Kiagara, she had touched several people. Konyo Kunire Avanta Bangi. She came back to life. Akaira Meri Wawamo. She was given life back. Akaira Meri Wawamo Nainde. Because of a Christian service, Christian service, my brothers and sisters, God has given us time and chance to serve society. Because of that, she came Legacy of Wilkista. Wilkista. She has not only impacted her family. She has also impacted society. And now she has rested. She has rested. Christian service. Peter prays for Papita to be raised because of our good deeds. Peter also what Christian say? It is not by works. It is by faith. But when you read this scripture, you will understand that Papita was a good woman, yes. But he also acted to help the widows. Helping the widows. She used her resources to help the need. To help those who are troubled. So when Peter appeared, they were all asking him to raise this woman. That does not mean there were no women who had died that time. There were women who were being buried that time. Women who were being buried that time. This one was exceptional. As a Christian, you can be exceptional by the way you do your things by the way you execute your 24 hours making a difference touching others touching others because by your life yes, you are spreading the gospel you are spreading the gospel you are spreading the gospel lastly because we don't want to go far Lastly, there is a kissy proverb. There is a kissy proverb. Who says? A mange will say, Mange asiro. Abura. Muyori Otari Musunde Mange Asiro Abura Muy 
yuri utari musunde ayo nasaba gusiboka this prophet ogo semioko gusaba yeno yo talks about a pillar oba yeno yo otaba igoro yesiru a pillar in society a zero and say can you know that has rested a yarure has rested a yatumukire and now there is nobody in that community again na hindi ande poyo as say can you know who is the same as this pillar or your weaker in the community and he has rested Nesire ya ruro with all his feet ama nama korwa yos with all his works nama oro korwa yos in the wood works nama korama ya now there is nobody in this society on the day of asike yoro who can remind us oyoro to inyorie that there was a tabita una tabita na rengo that there was a wikista una wikista na rengo was in a stand the same as we kissed at the same as capita ayo korire ama korire na ya tabita and those who are remaining bashi bati are to on the only darkness and that is what it calls mosunte the only darkness gebara so mosunte the darkness mosunte boeka you cannot see light they cannot do anything good ba okoro kende kiya they are only destroying over sari walk that is why the kisi proverb age kogera mwa yeno yobeke busi is asking okoboria if we can find somebody onye toko nyorunde who can remind us oyo rato inyorie about pillars who died in the past Igoro yeti siro chia tumokire bari mwingu asama korwa maya ai performi gutit asoro korwa mwana maya ai performi gutit asoro tomanya we lack those we lack those bana onto bolire abuo bagoto inyoria in our society asigati eto even the kisi proverb is looking for them so the mokaya family we are standing here to tell you that mama has rested with her good deeds just like tapita una tapita just like tapita una tapita in the book of Revelation chapter 21 as the table kia okomano kamera kire na yemo the bible says biblia otera the bible says biblia otera the bible says biblia otera the book of revelation chapter 21 as okomano ka emero ngire na yemo chapter 21 of the book of revelation Komano ka merange ne ne yamo the bible says biblia yatera but i saw a new heaven na nkarora inoraya and a new heart ne senya because the old things are past e kiara evento bi bi koro bi aitire then in verse 2 the bible says biblia yatera that i saw a new a new city and i saw a new chama chamu that is called jerusalem o koro ko jerusalem coming down oi ka kuro yoro coming down oi ka go chance like 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 a bride dressed to meet his husband or her husband or ari ganirie uno moriakari okomera na no mo sacho ye i had a loud voice elion kaiweri ugiri nene i was coming from the throne i korwa se kerowo this voice was saying neri yogiri ri arateba This voice was saying and you get it here out there now God this room is with his you in kaya moya banto in kaya nya sa ver ver in was for the bible says 
we are there. That is going to wipe all our tears. Including the tears that we are shedding today. And the old things are past. And things are now new. And we are there. Everything that was painting. Everything that was challenging us in the past, and the girls who are going to learn again, my God, those things have passed. Don't am mangana yosi aitre. That is the new Jerusalem. Ina kwenye a city where 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 our old people who have died. Ensiria alanto bose bakora bakire baralire a city where young people who have died ensiria alanto bakaba kure a city where children who have died ensiria alanto bakaba riba kure will be resurrected bara bokiwe and we will we meet with them elito mera namo na bara bo yes if that city comes to any one of Oh, it means we will be the second one ascending to heaven. Because those who died, like Wilkista, will be ahead of us. Will be ahead of us. And we will join with our own people. We will rejoice in that city. Where death will not scare us. Where our own friends will be united. Where parents will unite with their children. Where mothers will be seeing their children. And where there will be no sickness. That is the city we are looking to be. And that is where we are. Doing all that we are doing here, na kiko la tuwa kuri la ritoko kora la in preparation for that city. Aso kuyariga ni asenge jiyo mochoria. How I wish my brothers and sisters. Na kina rego sababu wa minta ba nchwa. That as we lay our mother to rest, ni akarato kote ga omongi na kote moka. We also yearn to be in that city. Na intoto tuare rango yomo chioria. Because that is the only peaceful city. Eki ano romo chibo kabwa mare. That you can be. Asora. There are many cities in the world. Eh me chinera me na sense. Very beautiful, beautiful. Very near. Rostiri buye chabe. Very nice that you can sit in. Asora. Me nya buya. With nice hotels. Ah ne chio teri chingi. With good places. Ne chise me chingi. Ne chio karo. That you can enjoy. But the only problem with the cities of the world is that at the end we are going to die. When we live in those cities, when we are living in those good places, but in that city, we will never die. We will all be with God. We will be in the presence of our God. That is the city I wish you, my brothers and sisters. To And that is my prayer. In Jesus' name. May God bless you so much. And let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, because of your word. We thank you because of the very powerful scriptures that are in the Bible. They always give us hope. They always keep us moving. And thank you, Lord, because in a very special way, you will console this family. You will give them hope beyond the casket they are seeing in front of them. And they ignite the fire of doing good And having faith is we wait for the second coming where death will never scare us. Bless this family of our great pastor is they mourn their mother. We leave everything into your hands. The program from this evening to tomorrow May the program of this great woman
uplift your name and praise your name throughout this program. Bless them as even they go for the night vigil. Bless the relatives who have come to be with them. Bless the church members who have stood with them. And thank you because of our pastors who have come to commune with this family at this moment when their mother has rested. And thank you, Lord, because you will take charge. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, and may God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me, as the church clerk, to give you the church history of the late Mama Wilkista Mokaya. My name is Agre Angwenyi, the church clerk of the Victoria's Day Church. Mama Wilkista Mokaya is coded 1685-2861 in our church SCMS register. Membership. Since the beginning of this church, Mama Wilkista has been our member and she was in a class of the regular membership up to early 2015 when her membership turned to irregular due to the diagnosis of arthritis with the manifestations of the complications associated. Since that time, Mama Wilkista has been of great significance, especially in the development of this church. Quite important to remark, in the year 2012, as plans were set aside to lay the foundation of this church, Mama Wilkista mobilized her daughters and sons to give us Kenyan shillings, 400,000, to help us in laying the foundation. She stood up, out and firm on matters of discipline as far as church spirituality discipline was concerned. On matters of church nurturing, member retention, and mentorship, Mama Wilkista has mentored young and old, male and female, in all her active years in church. She has never sugarcoated sin, nor tried to brusque repair any evil in the name of pleasing anybody. Important to note, even from her sick bed, home to call it, Mama Wilkista has never lagged behind on anything that sought her attention as far as this church development was ever concerned. To date, we remember the input the mother had for our church, and we seek that this extends to all of us when we have an opportunity to touch the church in one way or the other. And that is the woman the church is going to lay to rest tomorrow, the 14th of July, 2023. Thank you. Victoria Zidier, back when this church was starting, I was a youth, that is 209. You can just see these walls of this church. You can actually remember Mama. And you will know the records the Mama has left to this church. So I want to actually say we've roast a pira. Among, if we were to check the DNA of this church, among those people who actually started this church, Pastor Mukaya, Mama Wirkista Nyakubi, the DNA. Not for 
forgetting Pastor Heno Koga, who were the founders of this church. So I want just to take this chance and actually say most welcome to actually victory. We are going actually to miss Mama in this church. She was an advisor. She was actually a peer of this church. She's mentored us. Not only in education, she actually motivates many of us to go back to class. So I want to say we are going to miss Mama in this church. They used to sit there with the pastor. Actually, where you are seated, that is their sitting point in this church when they were in this church. So we want to say we are going to miss them so much as Victory SDA Church. I want to invite just one church member to make a statement before we go to the family and friends and then we finish. So the church members, I want to just give you a second second. If you just go beyond that, I think I will go, I'm going actually to uh, take the mic from you. Where is a held uh, member? Just make a statement, a brief statement, as we actually go to friends. A statement in that we are young. We are not 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 okay Yes, I or the Tomong Namoyo, or your colleague in Memanene, about Kurva, I have a bones, Mara, Timanya Tigo say, Barcura, Tenene Carcerva, and Jim Barete, Tenena and Gavana, Vamukaya, Messi Simone, Master and your bay, just stand where you are. Oh, Tiganqua negotiated Tenena Vana Mukaya Simone. Whatever you want to tell him by, Nimba Tabu Munda, but I'm not there. Oh, oh, come and be my Ah, the family of Mukaya, Muslim. The family of Mukaya, Muslim. Stand, stand. Thank you. Now wave, wave, wave your hands. To Kwaningo, to Kwaningo. Thank you very much. Take your seats. You got to have our entertainment statement. In Kenya, your side and you be a mono. I mean, you know what they mean. Yes, I am a Rumbia Mono, a seminary, Yon Sumar, no Mogna Tiatu Moke, to the Kanyan and it Korea Moed. Thank you very much, Helda. Thank you very much. I saw it in order for one of the church members to speak. Now, Elder Dan Osoro, you make a statement also as we go to actually, we are going to tributes from the family. So the family get ready. As uh, Elder Dan finishes to make the speech, you just pass, or you just come here. Uncle Yanga Kie, I saw Kobaka and Biamona Soko and Adibaga. It's a very rare chance that I can be given to, to speak on this great occasion for mom. I, I am actually, I consider myself part of the Mokaya family and uh, almost the eldest following my brother Stanley because uh, Stanley and I are, are about eight mates 
and we became brothers and very close right from school when we were doing our A-levels and up to now we have been great friends and Stanley was even the best man in my wedding that's how close we are with him and for all my other brothers and sisters and sister sisters starting from Esther Samuel Peter Dan and all the others and all the others I know each one of them very clearly Charles and everybody else Tom and Robert thank you very much and thank you for bearing this great loss of mom I have been inquiring all the time my friend and brother Stanley comes home how mom is doing and I was always assured that she's doing well until when I got the message from him when he was out of the country that mom had rested we have just arrived from Nairobi because I said there was no way I was going to to miss the funeral service of mom because she was a great mom I want to say mom was a great lady and she took care of this family it's a polished family it's a wonderful family I love the family and I want to pray that God takes care of you during this time of mourning so that he can give you comfort and he can give you consolation and he can give you strength as you go as you go through this we shall be with you till the end until we see that mom has been laid to rest in a, in a befitting way my brother Evans maybe just stand and it was my it was my chauffeur from Nairobi to here thank you very much for for driving me home and thank you very much may God bless you and may you be with us and may he continue being with us even during this difficult time thank you and God bless you thank you very much elder for that such a wonderful speech now uh, we are going to the family uh, Robert uh, Rose and Professor Nicheka, you'll be reading your tributes. I know they're reading in, uh, they're in our book race that we have, the eulogy. So you are invited to read your eulogy.